So I'm experimenting with the utilities library to make it easier to use Clerk's webhooks. And I came across a scenario that I'm sure many other developers run into. How do I test webhooks from my local dev environment? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to do that with ngrok, which is a service that lets you tunnel traffic from the outside world through your firewall into your local machine. So this way you can actually receive the payloads from webhook events or pretty much any service outside of your home and uh, and do something with it, such as sync user records to a database or send messages to them, um, basically giving you the opportunity to test it without having to constantly push out your service every single time you want to test webhooks. Let's start by taking a look at how webhooks work in the first place and understand why this is an issue. And then we'll move over into VS Code and I'll show you how to actually implement this and test things. So let's say this user comes out here and they're going to create a user on clerk server, right? So they come in here and they say, all right, I'm gonna create a new user account here, right? So we have this thing installed and supported called webhooks. And what that essentially does, it means that you can have a server that's sitting over here, right? And then when something happens here, an event, right? The event in our case is the user is creating their cells an account, Clerk sends a message to your server, and then your server can process and handle that request however it wants to. So this is what it would look like up in up in the cloud or some hosted provider, or whatever, right? So the problem is when you have the same configuration set up. Actually, let's go ahead and get rid of this, and we're going to throw uh, next in here. Oftentimes, when you're working, you're going to be working behind a firewall. So what that is going to look like, say you have your home internet here, right? So let's rename this home. You want something to protect your home to so make sure that no random traffic can come in here. And that's what a firewall does. So a service like Clerk's not going to be able to send a webhook message in here because it's going to get blocked by your firewall. Um, and this is essentially the issue that I ran into when I was testing webhooks. So the way we can actually get around this, so this is the, our, other, our second scenario here, right? It's going to get blocked there. So the way that we can get around this actually is to use ngrok, which is what the whole thing I'm going to be showing you how to do in this video. With an ngrok configuration, let's go ahead and move this over here. Uh, fire, firewall can stay there. Uh, what ngrok does is it lets you set up a tunnel between your systems locally and their servers. So with the tunnel setup, what we can do is configure Clerk instead to send its message to ngrok because when you set this up, you're going to get a dedicated uh, IP address or URL in order to connect. And then any traffic that goes to that is instead going to be proxied through your firewall or wherever your, your system's hosted into, into your local system. Um, this means we can actually point the ngrok CLI towards uh, localhost 3000, which is often where next applications run, and then get access to those webhooks and make this whole system work. So here's ngrok's website. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log in and you'll create an account, obviously, if you don't have one yet, but I'm going to go ahead and log into this. Now, it's fairly straightforward, right? So I have a Mac, I'm running on a Mac. So there's a single command we have to install to, to a single command we have to run in order to install the CLI. Uh, second command will configure our auth token, don't steal it, it's going to be gone by the time this video drops. And then finally, we can do this ngrok HTTP localhost uh, 8000. Now this creates a random domain that will it'll be generated on the fly that you can use to test your webhooks with or test external access from really anywhere with. But you can also select the static domain. So you can see I have a static domain configured already and I can actually um, put that domain inside of the command that's going to start the CLI locally. So I could essentially use this app here, see I'm lucky viper humorous ngrok free dot app and proxy any requests um, to this domain into my computer. And it's going to forward the traffic along to eight to port 80 in this example, or if uh, we're using 3000, like we will with our next, we would just replace it with 3000. So I've already run the command to install ngrok. And I've also added the token. Let's hop over to the CLI and take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so I've got VS Code open, and I'm going to go ahead and just paste this in instead of typing it. So ngrok HTTP, uh, and then Lucky Viper Humorous, you know, et cetera, my, my static domain. And then I'm going to instead type in 3000 because that's the port we're going to expect this to run on. So our view changes a little bit, but it says we're connecting, right? So it's port, it's going to forward all traffic from this from my my static domain into localhost 3000. So if I open another terminal app here and I say npm run uh, dev, which is going to start up my project, that's here. Uh, let's see, we're on HTTPS. So actually, I'm going to cancel this out, and we are going to modify this just a little bit and say npm run next HTTP. I'm using the experimental HTTP. Uh, what did I do? Dev HTTP. Okay, yeah, I'm using the experimental uh, HTTPS for some some passkeys demo that, but it, this is now running on HTTP colon slash slash localhost 3000. So now if I go to this URL, let's just go ahead and copy and paste this in a new browser session here. 
there's a little warning here that says that we're we're using ngrok but if we click visit site it's going to let this traffic through so and now i'm shown this next.js app as you can see it's very basic so let's go ahead and test an api route because that is typically where webhooks are configured to point to you have to have an api route so um, i'm going to go ahead and create a new file and we will say test route forward slash route.ts we're going to export uh, async function get and that's going to take in a request of next request and we're going to say console.log hello world and then i will return a new response of oh, we're just going to return uh yeah, let's return hello world why not hello world and let's give it a status code of 200 just like that okay i'm going to use uh intellisense to go ahead and import that request and save this okay so we have our new route here so now if I open, uh, let's see, let's go to test HTTP and I say git HTTP colon slash slash localhost 3000 forward slash API slash, ah, what do we even name that? <laughs> test route, uh, test route. Okay, let's close the terminal here, get a little bit more space. And this is using an extension called VS Code Rest Client. I actually created a video on how to use this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to that in the corner of this video. I hit send and we can see we're just getting a basic uh, response for hello world. Now this is hitting locally. If I go back to my browser and I modify this to go uh, API uh, test route and hit enter, here's our hello world message, but we're instead hitting it on this lucky Viper humorous, et cetera. Um, so we are actually proxying traffic from the public internet to our, 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 uh, our development environment here, which is pretty cool. And that's exactly what we want to do to test out these, uh, these webhooks. So, to demonstrate this, let's go ahead and modify um, our oh, wrong file. Let's go ahead and go back into our route. Let's modify this. So instead of logging hello world, we are instead going to uh, log out the, the request body. So I'm going to say uh, const JSON equals uh, await rec.json, which is going to extract JSON from the actual body. And then let's just console.log that JSON. We're still going to return hello world. Actually, I think the clerk expects nothing to be returned so we're just going to return a 200 with an empty string there and this should be set up the way that we want to and we actually have to change this to a post because it will send it to a post message it will send it will use the post action instead of the get action in order to send this data so now we have a post request that is going to accept a body it's going to just parse it's simply going to parse the json out of it and log it and then show return a status of 200. i can actually even test this myself by going into our test client here and let's go ahead and we can just repurpose this top one here. So I don't have to retype everything and we'll forward slash API test route and save. And now if I send this request, nothing gets returned because that's what we're expecting. But if I open the terminal, you could see that we're logging out hello world. For the next example, I'm just gonna expand this terminal out since we're going to wanna see more of it. Uh, why are you not expanding out terminal? Okay, so now that that's all configured, let's go back in here and I'm gonna log into my clerk account. So dashboard.clerk.com. All right, so I'm gonna change to my passkeys demo project just because that's where all of this is pretty much uh, configured. We'll go into, zoom in just a little bit, and then we're gonna go to webhooks. All right, so I don't have any endpoints configured in this specific uh, environment. So I'm going to add an endpoint and we're going to leave it HTTPS. I'm going to copy that this URL here off and then let's go ahead and paste that in here. And it's going to be forward slash API slash test route. And then let's go ahead and configure the user messages here. So webhooks, uh, typically you can, you can configure which events your service wants to receive. So this way, if you have multiple uh, services, say you work in a microservices environment where you have multiple services that are handling different things, you could set up multiple endpoint URLs. But I'm gonna scroll down. We're just gonna check the user. So anytime my, in my environment, a user is uh, created, deleted, or updated, I'm gonna get a message. We'll create, click on create. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead to testing and go to user.created, and we're gonna send a sample message. Now, provided everything worked properly, we should see a success here. And then if I go back into VS Code, 
here is the actual payload that was sent along as our test message. So this is coming, this is the data that's coming from Clerk. Now, if I have this data, I can do something like sync some of these, uh, some of these pieces of information about the user into my database, um, which is one of the most common use cases for using webhooks with Clerk. But really, um, it's just data that's coming through. So you can kind of use your imagination and adapt this data to however you want to process it within your application. So to show this in action, I went ahead and deleted my user account. And I'm going to create it again. So I'm going to click uh, sign. Uh, so, so I'm going to click sign up. And then I'm just going to go ahead and continue with Google once again, and click my name, we'll click continue. Okay, now I'm redirected back to my application. There's my account. Now if I head back into VS code, we can see here is actual some real information that came from clerks uh, clerk's webhook endpoint that got sent into my next app that's running behind my firewall. <laughs> and uh, I can now test out things like syncing up database records uh, with clerk if the user uh, updates their record inside the account settings screen. We can even tell this is uh, we have a type of user created and actually I can even go up here and I can see this is the event that happened when I deleted the user account as well. So that's how you can use ngrok in order to forward traffic from the outside world through your firewall to your local dev machine so this way you can test things like webhooks or just accessing your service from uh, from anywhere in the world.